This quiet Richmond cul-de-sac has been home to a heated debate over this, the Seabreeze Guesthouse. Gloria Gosabal says she never would have built her dream home here if she knew she was next door to a bed and breakfast. Apparently, uh, tourists are much more important to tourism Richmond and to the city councillors and the city of Richmond than the residents. We do not want the comings and goings of a six-person bed and breakfast in this cul-de-sac. The owner of the Seabreeze guest house says for most of the year there is only one of his three rooms occupied. Um, guests typically travel as couples and have one car, so it's a very, very modest impact on, on a neighborhood for the bulk of the year. Neighbors in Springside Place have erected signs protesting the B&B. However, the city recently passed a bylaw which allows up to six guests in three rooms. They're not interested in how we're feeling. They, they just have absolutely no care about the people in this cul-de-sac or anybody who opposes anything that the city wants, wants to happen. Neighbours strongly feel that they do not want what they call a hotel operating in their neighbourhood. John Falkus, the owner of the Seabreeze Guesthouse, says his establishment causes no more of a disturbance than any other house in this cul-de-sac. Falkus says the decision has been made and it's time to move on. Um, you know, I was approached by one neighbour on Friday night, you know, who's not, not, not in favour of having uh, you know, the B&B &B, um, on the street, but also uh, I think heard, um, you know, the arguments that the city was making. He did say that he would take down his sign and over the weekend that's just what he did and I think that that's a really big step in the right direction. Gosabel believes the city needs to look at potential sites for B&Bs on a case-by-case -case basis. Go back, take a look at it. There are some neighbourhoods that just fundamentally don't fit with bed and breakfast dead-end streets, cul-de-sacs. It doesn't have to all be commercial. There, there's room for just single-family houses in Richmond. Residents plan to keep their signs up, but John Falkus believes this works against the neighborhood feel his neighbors are fighting for. Carly McLennan in Richmond for BCIT Magazine.